Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Zen. Now, for some few days, we are uploading many special programs on C. But today's program is going to be a very special program. Our topic for today's program is automorphic number. Now, do you know what is an automorphic number? So, let me explain you this short. So, if we look at the number 25, then we can see the last number in the ones place is 5. That means 5 and the number we have taken as input is also 5. That means the last digit will match with the original number. This is called automorphic number. Let us take some other example such as 76. So the square of 76 is 5776. So we can see the last two digits 7 and 6 which becomes 76 and the number which, which we have taken as input is also 76. So, this means 76 is an automorphic number. So, this is how the algorithm of automorphic number works and we will do this via C program. So, let us see how the implementation is done in C language. Now, for C language, we are using DevC compiler as you have seen in my early videos. So, in this video also, we are also going to use the same compiler. So, let us begin with our main video. Automorphic number Now first we are writing the preprocessors hash enclosed istdio.h standard library which is stdlib.h and as usual we write hash input conio.h starting with int main as our main program here we will take the input we'll take num as an input As we are do going to do the square of the number, so we are taking sqr as for doing the square, temp to store the variable and last. This variable is used to match the last digit with the original number. So then we are taking int n, then we are printing enter the number to take the value of n. Now here we are making the square of num variable and storing it in the variable of sqr. So temp is also equals to num ok so let me write here calculating square of the number. Now temp is equals to num. Temp is a temporary variable and we are storing the value of num in temp. Now the next part is to count the number of digits, how many digits exist. So we are using a while loop. If temp is greater than 0 then n plus plus. Now temp equals to temp by 10. We are doing digit extraction actually. So we can match the last digit with our original input number.
now we are extracting the last digit from the real square number so we are taking the input den then floor power of 10 that is 10 comma n n means the input we are taking power of that input so last equals to here we are using the variable last i have told you earlier also that last is used to extract the last digit and match it with the original one so last is equals to square of that number mod then now then we have taken we have taken the floor and the power and that value is been stored in then so square of the number mod then so if we are giving a condition if the last digit is equals to equals to the original number num we have, which we have taken as input then we are going to print it as automorphic number else if it does not matches then it is not an automorphic number so else print as not an automorphic number This was the total program. So let me show you in one screen. So I have to decrease the font size actually. Okay. So this is the full program. Now we are going to compile it. So for that we have to save the program first. Okay, so let us see if there are any errors or not. Okay, so there is an error which is that power does not exist. That means we haven't used any math function. Now we know that power is a math function. So instead of conio.h, we will write math.h. So now if we compile our program, there will be no errors. So if we give the output 76 then it will become automorphic number again if we give another output such as 5 it is also giving automorphic number now we take an input which is not an automorphic number then we will show not automorphic number so this was the video now let us explain the dry run of this program okay so first is 76 now we are squaring that number 76 into 76 the product is 5776 the last two digits are 76 which is the original number 76 and also the uh, last two digits of the number which is also 76 is equal to each other so 76 is an automorphic number on the other hand if we take 23 and square it then 529 is the product but 29 is not equals to 23 the last two digit 29 is not equals to 23 so 23 is not an automorphic number so this is how the full dry run works if we do it okay so this was all for our video hope you liked it thank you very much for watching and also please don't forget to like subscribe to our channel computer center